Frank the Tank is retiring as a 49er. Man, it's great. I like that. I, I, I just love the sound of that because, you know, he's probably, he's, he's definitely the best running back in our history. Is he better than Roger Craig? Yeah. Yeah, probably so. I would say so. I mean, but, but it's so close, though. But Frank Gore, was he like third all-time leader rusher? You know, he's a top three all-time leader rusher. I mean, he's the best blitz pickup uh, running back ever, man. Like, that dude, that that guy does some special stuff. Like, like he, he doesn't save our quarterbacks from sacks, Alex Smith, whoever, Kaepernick, and picking up that guy, picking up that extra blitzer. So, he's a smart dude. <clears throat> Real smart dude. So, you know, he always was a good receiver, good, uh, you know, he, he can run routes, break tackles, run you over, but he never really wanted to take that big hit. And that's why he played a long time, too. You know, like, he, ne like, you, you never really got a big shot on him. You know, kind of similar to, like, our rival running back, Emmitt Smith for the Cow Bums, you know, like, he, he never really got like, well, I'm pretty sure he got hit, but I'm saying like not on a consistent basis. He always knew when to go out of bounds, know when to get down. Um, but yeah, that's enough giving credit to uh, the Dallas Cowboy right there. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. But yeah, man. Anyway, Frank the Tank is great. Hopefully he can be in our organization as like a running back. Um, not a running back, running back coach slash just like help us out with drafting and free agent signing because you know he he probably had a small influence on the Niners third round pick running back they got from LSU you know you know he had uh, some influence on that and plus you know he, he has a pretty good relationship with Debo Samuel he's a guy who can get in his ear and make sure this is where he needs to be you know because I always I always call Debo Samuel Frank Gore and T.O. mixed Frank the Tank, that's a bad mofo, but, um, yeah, you know, I mean, we lucky that he, we got him in the third round, you know, we got Frank Gore in the third round, because he has some knee issues, <clears throat> um, and I remember he played towards the end of his rookie year, last couple games, um, you know, like, and I was like, dang, he broke, he broke through a run against the Washington football team for a big, long touchdown, Frank the Tank. That's when I knew he was here to stay, you know. Kevin Barlow, get up out of here, KB. Barlow was cool, you know. But uh, that, that Frank guy, he, he let people know, this is my team. You know, Frank. And then we got Vernon Davis to pair with him. But, but yeah, I, if I can pick a running back, greatest running back ever, I'm picking Frank the Tank. Because he can do everything, catching, running, inside, outside. Shaking a guy, breaking tackles, blitz pickup, high character guy, you know. It's Tom Brady of uh, running backs, man. Longevity. Never really caused any issues, you know. Frank the Tank. Um, what do you guys think about Frank the Tank, though? Frankie. Frankie the Tanky, man. Oof, where does he rank him on 49er running backs? NFL running backs. Forget that, man. Like, 49er running backs. Because <clears throat> um, is he up there with Walter Payton, Jim Brown? Is he up there with, uh, you know, uh, Carlos Hyde? No, I'm just kidding right here. Barry Sanders? Ooh, it's a Barry Sanders. That's goat man right there. You know, um... But yeah, if I, if I had to choose between running backs on, on all time, you know, <clears throat> picking a running back uh, as far as like just running, as Barry Sanders. If you want running and receiving, you can go Marshall Falk or and LT. You can go, you know, a combination of that. Or Roger Craig to an extent. If you want to combine running, catching, um, blitz pickup, Frank Gore, Frank Gore, you know, I think he's, he's, he's just that dude, man, Frank Gore, man, like, 
if he's part of the Niners organization, you know, we're going to be drafting a lot of blue collar players. Um, he's going to have a lot of say so, you know, Kyle Shanahan respects him. They, they know what's up with Frank. He has a great mind for talent. You know, um, great mind, great eye for talent. And, and I, I'm looking forward to him being a part of the Niners organization, like, going forward. Because that's, that's a win-win for all parties, man, because we, we need him, man, because, you know, longevity-wise, he was Jerry Rice in it. The running back position, physical position, that I think the average amount of years that a running back plays is what, three years? Two years, maybe. Whatever it is, like, not that long. And this guy played for so many years, man. Freaking A. <clears throat> but, but yeah. Very blessed to have him. He definitely make a first team all 49er. He might make it over uh, Roger Craig and Ricky Waters. Ricky Waters was good at the time he was here. You know, I like Garrison Hurst. You know, big fan of Garrison Hurst. But yeah, Frank Frank's that dude though. It's been calling him Frank the Tank forever. And even like his former Miami Hurricane running backs, like Willis McGahee, Clint Portis, um, Adrian James, they all felt that Frank Gore was going to be the best one out, out of them that came out the U. And they were right. He was. So he's that dude, you know? Like, you know, he's that guy. So we're uh, very blessed to, to have him in our organization. Man, Frank the Tank. He, he should be in the, he should be Mount Rushmore running backs right there. I mean, everybody's Mount Rushmore. Everybody. Or she don't know football. But I'm just saying. All right, y'all, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All right. Yep.